Hello YouTube, this is Mizuna, and welcome to a quick Factorio tutorial. Today I am going to be talking about my modular smart furnace array. I first came across the idea for a smart furnace array on Negative Roof's channel. Uh, it wasn't his design, I'll have to look up the guy's name who did it first, um, and I'll put that in the description so you can go check it out if you're interested. Um, and essentially what this furnace array does is it only uses materials when you uh, when you need the finished product. So it'll only use iron ore when you need iron plate, it'll only use iron plate when you need steel plate, etc, etc. Um, the other thing that the original design did is it scaled production uh, to meet demand. So as you drop below certain thresholds, for instance 10,000 iron, in your logistics network, it would start up um, furnaces one row at a time, essentially. Um, which was a really neat idea. It meant you only used electricity when you really needed to. Um, however, because of that scaling property, it required a mess of green wire, red wire uh, programming, essentially. Um, it, it, was just, it was just a mess of a system. Um, I mean, it was really neatly done, don't get me wrong. You can go check out Negative Roots' video on it. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and it, it's not like the wiring was messy by any means, but it was it was just difficult. It was difficult to understand, um, and it was difficult to build. It, it took a long time to build. So I wanted to see if I could do a similar thing um, and simplify it, make it faster to build, make it easier to build, and I really wanted to make it modular. Um, I hated the fact that the whole smart furnace array had to be a single green wire system. It meant you had to build the entire thing at once by hand. Um, I love using construction robots, so I wanted a modular system that I could just plop down as I needed more furnaces. So that's what I built. Um, I started over here at my steel smelting line, uh, just because this is where I first tested out the idea for a control circuit. And you can see it here. Got a smart inserter here wired with a green wire condition to this pole and do all the smart furnaces over there to only work when there's less than one steel in this smart chest because it's the only smart chest on the green wire network, on this green wire network. Um, and all of these are wired with the same thing. These are the input inserters for the electric furnaces making the steel, which means that it will only intake iron plate and make steel plate when there is no steel plate in this box. I just took the steel plate directly from that box and put it back onto the line. Um, that means when this is backed up, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to make any more steel plate. It's not going to create a huge 100 steel plate buffer per furnace. Um, it uses ele less electricity, less iron plate, and is overall more efficient. Um, it also will allow you to control your input and your output way better than um, just pumping all of it in and filling the line um, for more delicate tasks like if you were trying to do a lean build um, like the lean machine that Negative Root is working on right now um, has been for a while something like this would really help you out um, it would mean that you wouldn't need to worry about the line backing up all the way down you wouldn't need to worry about producing as much iron to fill the steel demand. But that's not where this system shines. Where this control circuit signs is in its simplicity and is in its application to the larger modular build. So we're gonna walk over there right now. I'm gonna turn off my pollution so you can see the map a little bit. Um, here it is, my modular smart furnace array. Um, I'm a little bit proud of this thing. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Uh, it took me a little while to think up, and in the end, it was way simpler than I thought it would be. Um, that being said, uh, it will take a little bit of setup. So, the first thing that you need to be aware of is here are those control circuits we just went over. Here's that smart inserter. It's set to iron instead of steel because this is the iron line. Uh, less than one, this is the only box in the network uh, that's ever going to have iron in it. If there's a single other piece of iron in your green circuit network, then the entire system will break. So be very careful not to wire any of the chests in the modular design in, because that'll, that'll break the system. 
Um, and by break, I mean it just won't run. Um, and it could take a while to diagnose, depending on how big you made this thing. Same thing up here for the copper. We've got a smart inserter wired with the green wire, uh, less than one copper plate. This is the only box that's ever going to have copper plate in the green wire system. Over here, we have, let's turn this on for you, um, we have a requester chest for iron and a requester chest for copper. Same thing over here, iron and copper, and active provider chests for the output. Uh, we've got smart inserters here. The ones on the iron chests are going to be wired with the same iron condition, less than one, as our control circuit. Same thing for the copper. Um, and it'll just run. Uh, it, it'll run only when you need the materials in these requester chests. Um, they're all set to request all of it um, as much as as much as they can handle. Um, which is where I made a buffer storage of iron and copper, essentially. Um, so it'll just run when you need the materials. And the beautiful part about this, the really cool part about these smart furnace arrays, um, the primary reason I would recommend building one in your world as soon as possible, and it really would not take much. You can see down here, um, well, you, you can see that like this is as much as it took to get this off the ground one set of four furnaces. You could even do it with just a set of two. This is all you would need. Or even one furnace and the chests. That's really the minimalist design here. It's just that one unit here. Um, I just made it four because I had the resources and I wanted it to be pretty and modular. Um, so as soon as you have logistics bots, build this. And here's why, as I ramble. Um, you can use the, the full smelting capability of your entire factory for both iron and copper. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> well, what it means is that each of these furnaces, as, as I'm standing here, you should be watching these, each of these furnaces will smelt both copper and iron as you need either one, which means that instead of needing twice as many furnaces or speed three modules in each one, um, to get the full smelting capability that you need, you can have half as many furnaces and they'll do both iron and copper. You can see uh, this, this furnace right here, you can see the copper uh, smart insert is, is extended. Uh, as soon as we reach a cap for iron, yep, it just placed it in, which means all of them, all of them just switched over to copper. You can see the entire field just switched over to copper production. So. You're going to use your entire smelting capability for both iron and copper. It means you're not wasting time with idle electric furnaces. You're not wasting electricity on idle electric furnaces. Um, and it also means you're not wasting raw materials. You're not wasting copper and iron sitting, sitting around. Um, or even worse, being smelted, wasting electricity and then sitting around. Um, instead, I'm, I only have a buffer exactly where I want it. This is my only buffer. Everything else, you can see, these lines are constantly in motion. Um, so my entire buffer storage for iron and copper is where I would want it to be anyway, at the beginning of my lines. Um, that's, that's it. That, that's the entire system in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to plop one down, maybe, so that you can see it away from all the, all the bustle. I want to plop it down outside of my outside of my logistics network so nothing actually happens. I'll let, I let my robots in here. Oh, this is really cool. Once you build this once, as long as you have green wire in your logistics system, so, you know, and that's a really easy thing to automate, um, robots can place down green wire and they will set down the smart inserters with the green wire conditions intact, which means all you have to do to, to uh, make this design to increase the size of this design, sorry, I was wondering where that guy was going, um, is you just have to wire one to the next. So I'll just plop another one down. Auto save lag. Sorry, guys. There we go. Just plop another one down so you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, not the prettiest, but it'll do. Um, which means that all you need to do to make this modular design uh, increase the size of the design is once they place down that pole, there it is. All you need to do is wire this one to this one. And then that's one green wire circuit. So 
here, here's the modular design. Here's my setup. Just got the requester chests with the ore, uh, the smart inserters with the conditions for their respective items, uh, fast inserters out into active provider chests. And once this is in your logistics system, as long as you're pumping ore into the logistics system and you have enough robots to maintain this, it'll just go flying. And uh, I promise you'll be happy with it. So um, this has been my very first, but certainly not my final, uh, video on Factorio. Um, I hope you like the design. Any questions or comments? Uh, constructive criticism is much appreciated. Please leave them in the comment uh, section. Um, I'm going to be starting up a Minecraft Let's Play coming soon, uh, probably this week. And it's going to be on a modified server. I'm on the Hermitcraft uh, where, where me and uh, some close friends are playing on a Hermitcraft mod sauce server. Um, and I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be doing a little bit of technical stuff, a little bit of aesthetic stuff. Um, so if you're looking for something to watch, come on over. Uh, have some fun with me. I'm, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you. Uh, this has been Mizuna. Uh, and...